everybody, you are come back to Ogre Power and Ogre, this is the Witcher Free yeah, Wild Hunt. Room. She always did like space and the luxury. Yes. Uh yeah, we will dress up. What a wake. Wrong button press. Let's dress up. I have to say I like that one more. Well, since I don't really see any difference, do you want that one? Let's take that one. Oh, also the slippers, right. Oh, there they are. I have to say, I like that color style more. Yeah. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? <laughs> it's the end. You would do anything for her. Well, except for anything against Siri. I think that's the one thing I wouldn't do. Anything that might hurt Siri or another friend. another way. Let's follow the marker. And the fist fight is something I will do later. What do you want? Your boots bring a leak as well. Every man on the continent so bloodless. Pray oh. a smile upon you. Yeah, so let's see what he wants to Listen, from us. Richard. There are some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Okay. 
Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit of hype. Okay. That's there it is. But could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. Okay. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got but first we go. That. Brand new oh. swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. First we will go and meet Jennifer, Thank and then we will do that stuff. Pay. Imagine trying to uh, conquer that fort. Let's go. That's gonna be hard, even for Nilfgaard. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. Yes. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my poncho for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank a you. Cute accent. You're dazzling. I think it's the first time I've heard something Scottish Though coming I from a woman. Your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. It sounds cute. <sighs> really does. I don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But mm. sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. But when they should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? <laughs> Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Stay out of trouble, or you answer to me. We really the lobster. Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot and he ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temple. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Oh. Well, in that case, if she likes it. I have to say, I did not look at Geralt's beard. Lady Yennefer, sir. Greetings, Anvil. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. If you've watched the series, you might know that one. If you've read the books, you would too know who Krohan Kreid is. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. <laughs> We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn. 
and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Okay. I have to say, I don't remember or recognize any of these guys. Forgive me and remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a sparrow hawk. A Yal's daughter, she is. Rot lot of good, it doesn't. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. Yep. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. I don't think so. Remember when Galmer challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, I just noticed Yalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? We have to, right? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We have to. I really did not remember her name. I do remember some um, their, her parents. We're here! But... From this spot you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. Okay. You'll start when I sound the horn. Please. Oh man. Yes. So I lost everything I got just because he couldn't hold on. I have to say, I don't know if Yen will like this or Jen. I don't know how he pronounces her name. But I think it's something Geralt would do. such thing there's winning and there's losing and i lost we best go back to the week let's but why did she not anticipate when they were doing this did she know she was fast and wanted her brother to win because she knows it will be troublesome if a woman gets the armor See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher sparrow hawk. Does it likely happen to any of us? Enough of the napper and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. 
You shall learn all beyond that door. Okay. Something strange. Tell me, Lugos. Where is Yelma? Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinder, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. <laughs> Thought Skelligers called the truce for beasts. I yes. know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You what? don't scare anyone, don't are. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His yes. Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Oh, yes. Melty this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> Calm down, Lugos. No wench will teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. Yes. I think so too. That's not what, well, what we're here for. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Okay. Because we're, we're not. not being. I knew it. Well, Take it, go. Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Erberos? Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. Yeah. Hit it, little one. Shh, lie Guns. down a little. What? Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. While Star leaves, chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whip. Brass peacocks. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. <laughs> mm. What about nightingales? All ah, right, nightingales croon. Well, that's something about birds. Whatever happened behind the tapestry stays there. <laughs> tapestry. Tapestry? <Gross>. Tapestry? <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Behind the curtain. What happens behind the curtain stays behind this the curtain. Be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Okay. Come, 
There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Jen goes to fast way. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Yes? Looks alive. They look alive? Oh, wait, wait, now I was able to. Oh, only for a split second, yes? but still. Yes? Yes. Had one at Care More. Yes. Uh, so. Please. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. You might hear the snoring of a little puggy in the background. So, has he frozen them in time? Or something akin to that? Oh, the door. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. <laughs> the animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. I think they're not alive. Monsters. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. I think that was part of the trap. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mm. <laughs> Must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Care Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all <laughs> the stuffed beasts in here. Please. Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. The trial of taxidermy. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. I think that that's a good idea. Ah, our dear druids. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. Wondrous Large world female. of insectoids. Ritual plant. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Child 
Wolf's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. <laughs> Seems so. <laughs> Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Need something else. I want to look around first. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. <laughs> Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Dwarven triple mead. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Not too bad. So now, what do we put in his hand? Let's try again. Let's try the pine cone. Why do you say we give it a pine cone? Nothing. I think it will be the meat, but I was ready to add one so through a as well. How about a skull? <laughs> Guess you're no indecisive prince. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. That's it. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Okay. Yes, it is here. Also, let's see what else is inside of here. This is it. Looks like an Iron Man mask. Mixed with a voodoo mask. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. I learned this at Brenner. It's a trap. Just one second, guys. Awesome. Yes, it's working. Smelled it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Um. Okay. Well. I hope we get out of this one alive, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. We will see next time what happens to Geralt and Jen. Bye bye.